I'm here to talk about the overachieving millennial. It'll kind of, I'm hoping that it'll navigate um, its way, hopefully a little out of it, I think is what I was going for. I'll, I'll be talking a little bit about the millennial, but I kind of want to shy away from that a little bit, just kind of, I think it, as my two pieces will go. Um, I hope you do a little more than that. Um, so the two pieces I have for you today, the first is titled Millennial Punctuation. And um, since this is TEDx Roshan, um, there will be kind of a, a TEDx piece, and this first initial piece will be to talk a little bit about what this place is all about. And in the end, this is the place that breeds these millennial creatures we're talking about. So I think it'll be important for you guys to get a flavor. So. It's an audience response poem, and you'll know what to do, I hope. Um, I figured you've heard the poem already, so it should be good. It's about time, because I've owed it to you this belated thanks, long, long overdue. A pat, a clap, a fat piece of appreciation. This poem goes out to a place, a school, a home that gave this busy, run on life, punctuation. And let me tell you, I am serious. When I started to slip here, I found my commas and periods. So cheers to the best years of your life. Cheers to four years of Hoya Nation. Everyone who knows what it means to bleed blue and gray, say word. 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 Say word. 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 Because those words you just heard are from the people who make up this synergy, the strings, the percussion, the woodwinds that make up this brilliant Hoya symphony. Your differences are what create this special harmony. Look at me. I'm Chinese, but I still do my slam poetry, so you might as well call me Kanye East. <laughs> <laughs> because on the hilltop, this is as good as it gets, like chicken finger Thursdays or Sunday fun days good, like chili cheese fries at 2.30 in the morning or sleeping in for your morning 8.50s good, like taking a professor who authored the book you studied in high school or booking your favorite professor for TEDx Georgetown good, like Tombs Crab and Artichoke dip or taking a dip in Dahlgren good, like walking around the seal or stealing the deal with John Carroll's lap on graduation good. <laughs> and let me tell you, I am serious. When I started to slip, here is where I found my commas and periods. Everyone who's proud to be a Hoya, say word. 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 word! Say word! Word! Because here, it's work hard, play hard. Because it's not just about where you're interning, it's about why you're interning there. Because it's not about what activities you do, it's about what you believe in. Because it's not just about whether you can do the work, it's about how much others like working with you. While this is the house of Iverson, Ewing, Hibbert, Mourning, and Monroe, this is also the house of Leonsis, Cooper, Saka, and O'Shaughnessy. While this is a place matured over 220 years old, it is also a place that has not yet done finished growing. Where Inkling, Google Docs, Dropbox, MobileMe, and Prezi move into their dorm rooms with twin clouds for beds and crash headfirst into a world of 18-year-olds with more Twitter followers than Charlie Sheen, well, maybe close. A world of 20-year-old CEOs with companies worth dropping out for, but they choose to stay. A world where a soft copy is the only copy, and a world where you can always read it later and watch TV at any time on anything, but it won't be on a dorm television. And let me tell you, I am serious. When I start to slip, here I found my comments and periods. Everyone at TEDx Georgetown, say word. 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 Say word. Word. Because it's Madeline Albright, and she just emailed you great paper. Because it's TMZ reporting on, a, on President Obama sitting courtside at your home basketball game. Because it's C Wright underscore four blowing up your Twitter feed with 32 tweets in the last six minutes. Because that's George Tennant. And you almost stumbled upon it running to class in Red Square. Because it's DC menus, chicken madness, extra mayo, and bacon, please. Because it's traveling in packs of 30 at night trying to look on Google Maps. Where's Rick's point two? Because it's learning more than any course could ever teach you from late night G-chat conversations with your best friend and roommate. Because it's been so long since last we met. Because it's graduation day, you're in your cap and gown, waiting for your name to be called, asking yourself, so this, is this it? 
and at the ever so familiar Healy Bell Toll. You'll look around, meet the eyes of your fellow Hoyas, give a silent nod, and say to yourself, Michael is 
just so much easier. Conformity, right? Because you know, as they say, when in Rome, do it the American way, right? <laughs> <laughs> but why not just let go? Let the convenience of another take away who you are. Because what's in the name? 2,000 characters, 45,000 characters, of which two are chosen just for me? Seven letters out of 26 ingrained in my identity? But what's in your name? My name is Zhu Liang, Michael Wong. But what is 